Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, laboring in the vine, which is this earth in these last days, you know, risking their lives to push this truth to the four corners. Shalom to those who are sincerely seeking this truth to the few aquats and those of like faith. Shalom. It's the brother Yaraya from the GMS Italia camp. And you know, the spirit is on me to do this lesson and the title is going to be how not to fall off the truth. Okay. So I'd like to read from the book of Psalm 91, which is a very famous, you know, Psalm. Many know it, you know, off and know it by the heart. So I'm going to read from verse one, it quotes, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And you see, this secret place is actually the truth, the word of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the precepts of this book, which is the Holy Bible, you know, and the apocryphas, the words that are written in it, those are the secret place of the Most High, including the knowledge of his true names, you know, the knowledge of the true name of the Most High, which is Yahweh, and the knowledge of the of, of his son's name, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Mashiach. Okay, so it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, let's see what this word shadow says. In the Hebrew, it Saleh, which means a shade, whether literally or figuratively, defense. Shade, okay, a defense. Okay, shadow, shadow, defense, shade. So we can say in other words, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the defense of the Almighty Yahweh. Okay, so. This is the only thing that can defend us from falling into the world. This is the only thing that can defend us in the days of trouble. This is the only thing that can defend us in any situation. You know, the word of the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. So you see, it's not really easy to, to carry on in this kingdom of Esau, you know which Esau has poisoned the mind of, you know, majority of the people. You can't even avoid these people because most of the time when you go out to the plantations and different places, you know, you have people who have their roots into this world, you know, and you know, this world is actually dead. The only thing that can quicken you and make you alive and protect you is the world, you know? So, you see, we might be tempted to, to go back to the world after knowing this truth. We might be tempted, you know, to do things that, you know, we actually gave up. It's a continuous struggle. But you would learn, you would know something, you would know something, that the only thing that pulls you back, that helps you to stand strong and resist all this, is the word of the most high the precepts of this book you know same the word precepts now let me see so as you can see i just put in the word precepts into the search you know so let's just go through a few and thou madest unto them thy holy sabbath and commandest them precepts statutes and laws by the hands of moses thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently let's see that word precept what it goes into it says 
pikud pikud see properly appointed that is a mandate of yahweh plural only collectively for the law commandments precepts statues statue okay you see the commandments because this book is the book of our law you know the commandments are actually here you know so you see this word is what is is what can keep us alive you see and keep us away from not falling i will meditate in thy precepts in other words you can say i will meditate in thy words in thy laws and have respect unto thy ways make me to understand the way of thy precepts so i shall talk of thy wondrous works and you see that's why many of these other camps you know they're spilling all different kinds of buffoonery lately you know talking about the um the tazariac of um of um captain tazariac of um sikari you know spilling all no is this no sorry isupk I, I i wanted to say even as well you know the what's his name is it um alazar alize of the sikari you know they are all you know it's it's showing lately that the great millstone gms has the 100 percent truth you know they've been teaching this truth from from many years you know and they've stuck to everything they've been saying you know but these people these other camps and other groups you know they are not rooted into this world so they are spilling all sort of you know foolishness you know all sort of blasphemy you know they're they 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 pushing you know because they don't understand the precepts okay so they can't talk of the wondrous works if you understand this precept and you know it if it is given to you by the most high yahweh by hashem yahweh shai you shall speak of the wondrous works and these wondrous works are you know the things to come you know what is promised to those who who will be crowned you know by yahweh shai you know those who will be counted worthy you know to enter to into the new kingdom that is about to come you know so you see behold i have longed after thy precepts quicken me in thy righteousness i will walk at liberty for i seek thy precepts this i had because i kept thy precepts now let's see what's here i have remembered thy name o yahweh in the night and i've kept thy law and you see this word night here doesn't literally mean night night let's see season you know it also represents a season so it could be your season of difficulty your season where where you where you were being tempted when you're going through different hard times you know where, where is it again you know because this i had you know he said he said i have remembered thy name or yahweh in the night okay so when we're going through all different hard times difficult times you know going through different temptations we have to remember the name of the most high yahweh and keep his laws you know and keep his laws he said this i had because i kept thy precepts okay so let's keep reading i am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts the proud have forged the lie against me but i will keep thy precepts with my whole heart let the proud be ashamed for they deal perversely with me without a cause but i will meditate in thy precepts you see these words actually are the roots you know a plant without roots without you know roots what's destined to happen to that plant it falls off man it dies off so the only thing that can keep us rooted on this journey on this path you know to eternal life from the most high yahweh Hashem yahweh shai is this truth is this truth and i don't mean any kind of truth that is out there you know the real truth which really sincerely with all my heart 
I say I've gone through different camps, you know, watching all different things, you know. The only solid truth you found I you find out there is the truth of the great millstone, GMS. So you see all through the all through the um temptations and different things you have, you know, if you go back to these words, you know, you open your scriptures, you know, you pick a little, you pick a few, a few, a few, a few precepts, you know, and you grow go through this thing, it's going to change your spirit, man. And I'm saying this because you know, I also myself I go through different kinds of things, there are situations in which you know, I just get some stupid thoughts, you know, of doing certain things that are left behind, you know. But when I think of this truth, you know, I pick out the scripture, you know, get a precept, you know, the spirit returns to me. So that's why I'm saying it, you know, this truth is actually what keeps us rooted, you know. There are lots of, um, but there is one I'm looking for. Okay, this is it, you see. This is Psalm 119, 104. It says, Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. You know? The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I heard not from thy precepts. Is this not what we are actually going through? This is actually what we're going through. Israel, um, Esau has done all different kinds of wickedness. You know set all different kinds of traps to 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 um to prevent us from getting this promise that we are promised from the most high yahweh bashem yahweh shai and when i say this i'm talking to the house of yashar allah which is the house of israel starting from the um from the negroes the native americans and the so-called latinos you know these are the true true israelites you know so Esau is actually coming up with all different kinds of things, you know, bad food, you know, bad communication, you know, uh, all different kinds of madness, you know, to keep us away from getting to our destiny, being the sons of the power, the princes and uh, the, the princess, princes and princesses, you know, of the kingdom to come. You know, this world was actually made for us. So if you don't, if you're not rooted in this word, you can easily get carried away. Remember Yahweh Shai, when he fasted in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights, when Satan came to him and tempted him, what was Yahweh Shai using? He was responding back with the word, with the precepts. He stuck to those precepts, even he being the son of the Most High. And that's a huge example to show you that it's only this word that can scare away, you know, this the dev these devils themselves you know when you have this word in you man you know you have this fountain of living water flowing deep inside you man no one can come to you no temptation or anything can can make you backslide and go back to the world that you left like a dog going back to his vomit so now going back to the book of psalm how do we going back to the book of psalm 91 i didn't want to keep this less long it say i will say of yahweh is my refuge and my fortress my power in him will i trust okay because the most high yahweh by hashem yahweh shai is our refuge is our fortress you know surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the nonsense noisome pestilence now let's look at the word snare no the word snare is actually a trap okay now let's look at the word fowler the word fowler is a trapper a bait layer a trapper so this is exactly what they do they lay all different kinds of traps for you to make you backslide and go back to the world the world you're actually running away from you know many brothers are dealt with all different kinds of demons smoking demons you know um all different kinds of wicked demons you know and when you go out there you see you have all different kinds of temptations you know they set traps for you so you can fall back to that thing 
you know addictions drug use and all sort of um, you know demonic traps and this is exactly what Esau does but the only thing that can prevent you from all that that can hold you strong and not make you go out of focus is this word and knowing also the name the true names of the most high Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai but that's not the only thing but these truths these words which are his laws and statutes they have to be written inside you and you can have them written inside you only if you feast on them that is checking them out studying them you don't necessarily don't you don't even necessarily need to read the scriptures every day you can watch videos from the apostles and elders and also still get edified because this elders and apostles and you know the rest of the archaeans they always bring out scriptures you know some people might not have that you know that strength to want to read or something but this is the only thing that can prevent you from going back to the world that you're running away and secure yourself a place in the kingdom to come well i'm going to stop here i would have loved to share more but you know i don't want to keep this lesson too long and i hope you know the message was passed you know um i'd like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem ruka kodash my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone gms who taught me this truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth shalom